So I knew that I wanted to teach upper elementary when I first started um, and was I, it was more so that I knew what I didn't want to teach because I wasn't cut out for it and with my sense of humor and and so I fell in love with fourth grade and decided that in this age range was where I needed to be but I remember my whole first year of teaching waiting for the actual teacher to show up and to kind of point at me and go okay we figured you out busted you are a fraud get out of this classroom and I think that's very very common um, I also remember thinking that I needed to be exactly like everybody else because everybody else seemed to have have it figured out. And so if I could just mold myself to become one of those good teachers that I saw in my, my school, then I would become a good teacher too. But in that molding, I lost my own essence. And so I was going through the motions, and if I'm going through the motions, think of what it meant for the, for the kids and how boring it was for the kids. So I quickly realized that the one thing that I thought that I wish I'd learned more of in, in my pre-service days was simply to be um, confident and to find the courage within me to be the kind of teacher that I needed to be. And so I spent an awful lot of time trying to be someone else and it wasn't until I realized that I would never be someone else that I feel like I, I finally got my teaching feet and, uh, and became more confident as a teacher. So I think my biggest advice for pre-service teachers is to know that you have value and even if you don't know all the answers, nobody expects you to and no one has all the answers even if you've been teaching for 30 or more years but that to trust yourself and trust your intuition more than, more than you might be inclined to do.